What is up YouTube? Today we take a two month later updated review look at the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Is it Ultra? Is it the Note 21's Ultra's replacement? The good, the bad, and the ugly all discussed right here in this review. Let's do it. This video is being brought to you in partnership with Epidemic Sound. There's a link in the description for a 30 day free trial. What is up YouTube? Today we're gonna to be tackling the S21 Ultra two months later, and this is how the review is gonna go. I'm gonna get into the shortcomings, the mishaps, the issues up front, get that out the way. Then we'll move into what the S21 Ultra actually delivered upon. And then we're gonna have a discussion as to why I think that this S21 Ultra was intended to replace the Note 21 Ultra. Now, for those of you who do not know, the Note 21 Ultra was canceled. We are not seeing one this year. We will not see a note device possibly until next year according to samsung if you guys want to know all the details about that i created a video recently that i'll link to that you guys can check out right after this video but let's get into the s21 ultra two months later let's get into the shortcomings the mishaps the things that you want to know the good and the promises are always advertised at the press conferences and the release date but once these devices get in the hands of the consumers, that's when they are really put to the test and we see some of the issues and problems. All right, so one of the first issues a lot of people complained about when they first got their S21 Ultra was battery drain, battery issues, not getting enough battery. I mean, this is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. You expect ultra battery. A lot of people were seeing different fluctuations in battery life. There has been updates actually specific updates to help with the battery drain issues. And me personally, with my use, like I'm one of those people who turn up my settings and I tax the battery. But I'll talk about that later when we talk specifically about battery. I need you guys to comment down below who own the S21 Ultra and let it be known if they've been solved, if you never had any issues, or if your battery is still draining tremendously. The next issue or problem that was being seen on this S21 Ultra around release time, especially on the Exynos versions, camera issues, not focusing properly, not getting the best of what these 108 megapixels and 40 megapixel cameras have to offer. And that was actually unfortunate considering on the Snapdragon versions, we actually got a really great performing camera. We'll talk about that more in the camera section. It's not perfect, but we got a lot of good improvements from previous models, especially from the S20 Ultra and beyond. So if anybody has the Exynos version, I saw a lot of people saying that they weren't having issues and so forth. So hit the comment section down below and let me know if you're having any issues with camera on the Exynos version and so forth to this day. Now the next issue that we're gonna talk about is an unfortunate one and that deals with heating, overheating. Now, me personally, I have not seen this issue come about on my S21 Ultra device. But I even had a viewer DM me a screenshot of their device in the overheating prompt. And they had a Snapdragon version. So it's not that it was just an Exynos uh, problem only, it's also Snapdragon devices that were seeing overheating issues. As I said, me personally using this device in my day to day and the way that I use it, I haven't encountered that. If you're still having overheating issues, hit the comment section down below to let the future buyers know. Another issue and shortcoming with the S21 Ultra is missing features. The S21 Ultra is lit. Like, I, I won't even lie, it's not perfect though. Like, it doesn't feel ultra because it's like those things that are missing that could have made this like the most ultra device on the market. But you felt like those things were removed to make room for the Galaxy Note. And then we find out that we're not getting the Galaxy Notes. Like the micro SD card slot. It is not here on this S21 Ultra. So if you do decide to choose this device, pick your storage selection up front because that's what you have and that's it. Now another missing feature is the MST. A lot of long-term Samsung users appreciate MST. I had someone comment below that it's available in other countries. So if that's true, uh, hit the comment section below and confirm that for me. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about as a shortcoming or a not so good thing about this S21 Ultra was the price. The price was too high. In the words of Floss, it's too high. Started off at 1200, but that was for the very lowest storage option of 128 gigabytes. So if you needed 256 or 512, you have to spend a lot more to get there. And there's a lot of smartphones you could get under the price of $1,000. And they give you a lot of great features at that price point. So for this one to come in 1200, knocking you over the side of the head with those shortcomings and mishaps, it was highly unfortunate. I know 
Now it's probably discounted to like $1,000, but it should have started that way from the jump. All right, that's the end of the mishaps and shortcomings. Let's get into what they actually did and delivered on with this S21 Ultra. We got the bad out the way <laughs> and some of the ugly. Let's talk about the good. All right, the first area, the most obvious area is design. Now it's two months later and this design, as you can see, is still looking beautiful for me. I do not use a case with my smartphone, so any wear and tear that you should have seen would have been on here. I love this matte black design. We got the new camera bump. Some people love it. Some people do not. We got the beautiful AMOLED Quad HD 120 hertz display. Game changer. The best display, seriously. Design wise, over time of two months, I'm still enjoying this thing. It's holding up durability wise. It's just a well put together ultra device. Oh, and another thing, the in-glass fingerprint sensor is a lot better than previous models, period. What about performance? Performance is top-notch. Snapdragon 888, this thing is flying through anything. And with that 120 hertz refresh rate, like the, just the movement on this thing is so smooth. So it delivers, whether you're gaming, doing high-end things, you're doing a lot of multitasking, a lot of apps open, the RAM management, performance is stellar. Benchmarks, all that geek stuff, the numbers are phenomenal, they're very high, they're very impressive if you're into that kind of stuff. I don't really care about that. All I care about is the user experience. How do those numbers translate into my user experience? And that's all that matters. Now, let's talk about the battery. 5,000 milliamp hours battery. And typically, like most users, you're gonna use it with the out of the box settings, which is gonna be at full HD, and it's gonna be more optimized to get you a better battery performance. So if you use it right out of the box, the way that Samsung sent it to you, you more than likely got a nice, good, battery life. Now me personally, I cranked this bad boy to what it was meant for. This is a S21 Ultra, it has quad HD display. I can do it at 120 hertz and guess what? I turned my display resolution to quad HD 120 hertz. <laughs> I want it all and I still get decent battery. So battery life on this S21 Ultra for me has been good. I hope it's the same for you. If not, hit the comment section down below and let the people know. Now, the beautiful part. The cameras, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Today's video is being brought to you in partnership with Epidemic Sound. What is Epidemic Sound, CJ? Whoa, let me tell you. Epidemic Sound is a necessity, especially if you're a content creator on YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, all of those platforms because using popular music is cool and all, but it also comes at a price. If you don't have proper licensing to use music, you can face copyright takedown, copyright strikes, or worse, having your social media platform be banned for unauthorized use of copyrighted material. That's where Epidemic Sound comes into play. Anytime you have an active subscription with Epidemic Sound, including the 30-day free trial, which I'm giving you down below with the link, you are covered. They have an expansive and elaborate library of music, songs, instrumentals, sound effects, movie effects, all of that good stuff. No matter what you're working on for your video needs, I guarantee Epidemic Sound can fulfill those necessities. Whether you pop it on IG, pop it on TikTok, pop it on Twitter, pop it on Twitch, or pop it here on YouTube, I highly, highly recommend you use Epidemic Sound. It's as simple as that. I have a link down in the description below where you get a 30 day free trial on me. Hit the link and it's on Epidemic Sound, actually, you know, because uh, they the ones giving it to you. I'm just the voice helping you get the hookup. I mean, tell them CJ sent you by using the link down below, but don't tell them I gave you 30 days free, okay? When it comes to the cameras, I won't even lie. I've given Samsung a hard time in the camera department because in the past, they just weren't that good. They weren't terrible, but for me and my standards and also using other smartphones and seeing it done better, I would always bring that up about Samsung's cameras. But man, let me tell you, the S21 Ultra camera system is there. It delivers that 108 megapixel camera on the rear. Mwah. Yo, the rear facing cameras on here? <laughs> Man, phenomenal. Samsung did a really good job putting together a camera that works this time around. Cause we know last time around it wasn't the best, but you know, adding in the focus laser, I think they may have went in there and kind of, you know, spruced up the engineering on the 108 megapixel and so forth. But the quality is just absolutely great. As you guys can see, I'm running through shaded to lit. Outside is gonna give you the best results because ain't no light like the sunlight, but you get to see 
where this thing can shine and how great your videos, social media posts, photos, and things like that can actually look. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. It's fire. I love it. Woo! The uh, Periscope camera, which is my favorite, mwah. You got the ultra wide, which I've always loved, especially if you're trying to get like, you know, vlogging video and stuff like that. That performs well, but I don't typically use it a lot. I'm typically at my sweet spot on just the regular wide 108 megapixel. And if I want that zoom, that Periscope, man, I love it. I think it's a 30X zoom dedicated camera. It's phenomenal. It looks great, meaning that the sharpness and the clarity is going to be there because it's not digitally optimized and all that. It's a physical lens for that. Now, front facing. Oh, look, we got the camera on right now. There it is. That front facing camera, baby. <laughs> Let's get it. Now, I don't think you get 40 megapixels necessarily when shooting video, but I know you could do the 40 megapixel photo. Let me take a selfie. Hold on. This front facing 40 megapixel selfie camera has changed a lot for me. As I said, I always give Samsung gripe and one of the cameras that has given me a lot of <laughs> <sighs> has been this front facing camera. But I'm gonna tell you right now, let's, let's snap a photo, you know what I mean? Photo you guys, so you guys can see it. Wait, hold on, we, let's get it, let's get another one. All right, so that front facing camera has improved a lot for photos. I'm starting to actually like Samsung cameras since this S21 Ultra was released. Now they had to make some improvements over the previous model, the S20 Ultra, and adding in this focusing laser really helped with the autofocusing issues that we saw in the previous model. I think they went in and tweaked the uh, physical lens and just made it have those improvements necessary for this to shine over its predecessor, the S20 Ultra. And it did just that. Now, I kind of talked about the display earlier in brief, the display is the best. It's bright, it's in your face, it's vibrant, it's vivid, it's all of that good stuff that you look for in a top tier display. That's exactly what it is, top tier. So if we gotta talk about price, I gave my opinion on that. The price is a sore spot for me, not much value there on this device, starting off at 1200 and moving up into the upper 14 and 1500, I just, no. Okay, so next up, another thing we need to talk about with the S21 Ultra is it has S Pen support. This is one I got from Samsung Unpacked. So this thing is able to take on an S Pen, whether you use the one out of your previous Galaxy Notes, you buy the one that Samsung is selling right now, or you just have an S Pen lying around like I do. This gives you that functionality that is so familiar to us from previous Galaxy Note devices. So the S Pen is that all so familiar experience that us Note users live and love about Samsung. And for some odd reason, it's being brought over to the S21 Ultra, I'm not complaining, but I have an eyebrow raised to suspicion. We're gonna talk about that next. So S Pen support is pretty good. Now the S Pens that you're able to purchase as of right now until the Pro S Pen is released, they don't have the Bluetooth functionality. So you're just getting typical S Pen usage. My conclusion and my truth and my thoughts, my opinion, and overall user experience with the S21 Ultra, as well as my eyebrow being raised as to why I say that this S21 Ultra was intended to be a Galaxy Note 21 Ultra replacement. This thing is a really good device. There's this shortcomings, which is where they could have improved, given us a lot more, and actually hit the nail on the head at giving us a somewhat of a Galaxy Note device replacement. So while this does not replace a Galaxy Note device as you can't keep an S Pen stored inside of it. It doesn't have all of the top of the top tiered, well, actually it kind of does. And that's the problem. The blurring of the lines between this S Ultra device and the Galaxy Note. Why was the S20 Ultra last year even revealed and offered when you had the Note 20 Ultra coming later on that year with little to no separation? Why is this S21 Ultra here this year in 2021 and no Galaxy Note 21 Ultra being released. Conspiracy? I do believe that Samsung was trying his best to wing the Galaxy Note users off of the Galaxy Note line and into the S series Ultra lineup. You can't really replace a Note by giving a S Pen support without a S Pen being stored inside of a S series Ultra device. You can't replace a Note without making sure that this S21 Ultra has all of the features that the 
Samsung Note users live and die for. I think now Samsung realizes that they can't pull diehard Note users into the S Ultra lineup. What are they gonna do next year when it comes to the Note? Only the future will tell us what will happen next year as far as the Galaxy Note and its S series Ultra lineup. But what I can say to the people who are out there who are wondering if this S21 Ultra is a device to pick up, it's actually a really good phone. As someone who's a diehard Galaxy Note user, which is typically the top of the top, I see a lot of similarities, a lot of usage, a lot of great things in this S21 Ultra that I've been able to use it in the absence of my Galaxy Note and not complain as much or feel as robbed, shall I say. So this is a great S series device Ultra. I feel like you should get it if you could get it at a great value price. And from my comments, I see a lot of people getting it at a phenomenal price. It's like right now, I don't even think it's selling at what it was retailed to be. That's my verdict. It was almost like the perfect, uh, there's no such thing as the perfect smartphone, but it was knocking on the door and trying to become something special. And I think with the next development, it can become something special. I don't know, but I will say this. This phone is great. It's nice. Get it at a good value. Take it to the bank. Enjoy this thing. You're going to absolutely love it. I believe in it. I told you the issues to look out for. So you've been warned ahead of time. My name is CJ. This is CJ Unplugged. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a freaking minute. Did you hit that like button? Shame, shame, shame on you. Did you hit that subscribe button? If you want to hang around for more, fly honest, ultra, uber honest, tech reviews, hit that subscribe button. My name is CJ, this is CJ Unplugged. You guys know the deal. Join the plug family. Peace. That's on me, ayy. Any day could have been dead. High school price on my head. Paranoid line in my bed. Pray to God they don't turn my shirt cherry. red. I was lost, didn't know me. Introduced myself to Codeine. Six months was a dope fiend. Philly didn't even know things. There was a low me. Swear to God it woulda owed me. Anything you ever told me. Anything you ever showed me. I forgot it. Cause me drama.